to welcome to the virtual stage, Carolyn Dallin. She's a VP of commercial at business or at Bidroom. Uh, so I, I will hand it over to her and ask her to start a video and make her spotlight. Hi, everybody. Um, thank you, Christian, for the introduction. Happy to be here today with uh, Claudia Finn and Henrik uh, to discuss sustainability and how we can uh, tackle uh, this topic in the industry and more specifically for me uh, on the um, as a hotel booking platform. So uh, just a short intro before we dive into uh, the presentation and let me share my screen. Uh, so just a short intro. Uh, I think we've seen the public opinion changing and during uh, COVID and being uh, increasingly uh, receptive to this uh, uh, notion and, and this topic of sustainability. Um, but we are also seeing uh, the newest generation uh, arriving in, in, in different consumer segments uh, and having a stronger voice. Uh, and, and for these new generations, for Gen Z and for millennials, which are not so young anymore, uh, I'm one of them, uh, this is an essential uh, part of uh, our, uh, our journey as consumers. So considering this uh, uh, change in demand, uh, among other things, uh, many businesses have come to understand that walking this path is kind of uh, essential. It's not just about value, uh, but as I like to remind it all the time, it's, it does positively impact, of course, the bottom line. Um, so that being said, sustainability is not uh, purely about the environment. We have uh, to achieve a certain number of changes in other areas. Uh, to truly move uh, things forward uh, in the in the right uh, direction. And uh, we are talking about, uh, for example, fairer business models, uh, ethical practices along uh, the value chain, diversity, inclusion, uh, which are a strong driver of innovation, for example, and uh, and also, of course, the impact on uh, local communities. Um, and of course, this point is kind of crucial when referring to an industry like travel, uh, as the destination is, is hosting our guests uh, and sharing its resources and, and, and environment uh, with them. Um, so uh, the question is whether uh, the path you choose is consistent enough uh, with actually being seen as credible uh, by travelers. And I will stop just a second on the notion of greenwashing. Uh, if we do, for example, the parallel with the food industry when uh, organic food was starting showing up on our shelves, uh, there were very little coordination with uh, labels being too many and making it difficult and for consumers uh, actually to trust that this food was to be trusted as organic. Um, so I think before going into how the industry is working towards global standards, uh, I feel that the, the first thing to do is of course, to be committed as a business from A to Z and avoid uh, greenwashing by, you know, that consists into integrating green elements into your communication, um, whether in the form of text or visuals and without actually following certain rules and guidelines. Uh, which ideally will be provided by, uh, by a recognized organization out there, which are there to, uh, to help us. And I will be um, talking about them in a second. Um, so basically there are many initiatives out there, but we need to help consumers now read this info and trust it. Uh, and I think it's all about standardization I added here a quote from uh, uh, product VP at Google who actually introduced this uh, eco tag uh, last September. And I think we're seeing that there are many initiatives out there and I will be talking about them. Um, so uh, if we are talking about standardization, we are also talking uh, about global criteria. And I will start with uh, GSTC. So GSTC is the Global Sustainable Tourism Council. Uh, it's managing uh, global standards for sustainable travel as an independent body uh, and working together with hotels and, and travel businesses, tour operators, travel agencies. So these criteria, uh, which are defined by GSTC, are available uh, to the public. It can be actually a great idea 
uh, using them uh, uh, already and aspire to meet a, a new milestone as a hotel, uh, uh, you know, starting your journey uh, from this established criteria. So you can find the, the list online. Um, and what is important to, to see is that most of eco certification bodies out there follow uh, GSTC standards as a minimum when some of them have additional ones uh, or are actually going through different kind of auditing uh, with third parties, for example. So on top of that, GSTC accredits also some of uh, the certification bodies out there should they require it. Um, but it's important to understand, I think, that hotels following GSTC standards are not certified or verified, which means there is still a lot of work to do before we have a consistent offer out there. Uh, also, I just want to mention quickly that a part of GSTC, you have, for example, the EU Commission level, which is more uh, focused solely on uh, uh, the environment aspect uh, as a certification organization. Uh, you also have uh, the Sustainable Hospitality Alliance, uh, which is actually quite present in the industry and where you can find additional uh, resources. So um, one important figure to share here uh, is that the number of property which can be presented as eco following this recognized global standard is still too few with less than 6,000 properties globally. Uh, and I think actually maybe this is a bit of an overestimation. Um, so, uh, because actually it doesn't include only verified and certified properties. Um, so there is still a long way to go for the industry. Uh, you might know that some say there are about 800,000 hotels worldwide. So you see the margin for improvement. Um, so what can you do as a hotel to be credible uh, and prepare for regulations to come. Uh, how can you choose uh, a certification partner that will bring credibility and trust also in, into the program you present? Um, so of course, if you choose um, one of these 200 certification agencies out there, uh, it comes down to uh, cost, you know, the complexity of the project, and it's about choosing the, of course, the program that works for you, maybe because this agency is present in your country, uh, or is more present in your region. Um, uh, again, there are many out there, uh, national bodies, uh, for example, I think in Slovenia or Malta, uh, but you also have these long existing international players like Green Key, we, we have today, uh, in our uh, panel, uh, EarthCheck or, or Green Globes. Um, as, I, as I was mentioning, the important factor is here is to choose on the one certification which uh, will help you to be recognized by consumers. So this is actually a very important step uh, uh, towards certification. Um, so I wanted to share this uh, result from a survey we conducted a few weeks ago to our hotel members at Bedroom. I think it was, we had a few uh, interesting numbers there. And basically we wanted to establish how can we help our hotel partners and do we need to help them actually to achieve their goals in terms of sustainability. Um, and we were happy to, to see that actually 80% of, of our respondents uh, uh, started to introduce uh, best practices. You can see some of them uh, here on the screen. Um, but also that 60% of them were interested in obtaining an eco certification. Uh, so they are extremely positive number. We are happy, you know, at Bidrum actually uh, uh, to support uh, uh, our partners to go in this direction. and and connect then with, with uh, the co-partner we partner with. So um, I was mentioning earlier that uh, regulations are coming uh, and, and probably uh, it's a good idea pr to prepare. And I think this is the first reason uh, as a hotel business why you, you should uh, really uh, involve time and resources in there. Uh, second, of course, we've all seen, uh, you know, these uh, metrics out there about consumers ready to pay more uh, uh, for an eco property or 
uh, taking this into consideration where uh, finalizing a booking, et cetera. So we know and we see that the demand has changed and we need to be uh, ready to address it. And actually, I strongly believe that players will, will be you know, really tackling this uh, will be uh, uh, will be uh, winning in the end. Um, then, of course, there are some, you know, uh, basics, of course, uh, by implementing this kind of program, you will be saving on energy uh, cost. Uh, some countries where, uh, you know, resources are more scarce. I've been quite a, uh, um, uh, I've been the first on going into this direction and actually having this kind of uh, a green infrastructures. Uh, so this is quite an obvious one. And, and basically this is, you know, about the, uh, I believe the, the value uh, you want to convey as, as a business about your brand uh, and showing to your guests that actually you care, I think will be a, a huge differentiator. I often say that uh, when we travel, we're kind of uh, going home away from home. Uh, we're not necessarily looking, uh, we're looking for exotism. We have different reasons to travel, but the kind of comfort we're going to get, uh, uh, comfort or, you know, the, the values we're going to uh, follow uh, need to be in phase with what we do home. Um, you know, on a personal note, I don't know for yourself, but I feel really irritated when I'm not able to recycle at a hotel or when I'm being given uh, plastic bottles for free in the room. Um, so, so I think this is just, you know, important to acknowledge that our consumption as consumers in our daily life has changed and that hotels should only, you know, follow this change and be able to propose the same kind of, uh, reality to their, to their guests. Um, so, but, but the thing is also that the demand has changed. However, we can see, and there are some, uh, surveys about that, that, uh, consumers are, find it really not easy to actually find the, the right information, um, you know, uh, who to trust, what to trust, uh, what information out there. Um, and we actually conducted a survey to our uh, members, our, our, our B2C for this time, uh, last week. And we actually confirmed this. Uh, with 24% of our respondents telling us that they didn't trust uh, this kind of eco-certification labels. Uh, many commented that they only trust independent non-commercial certification bodies. So, so there's really a lot of work uh, to do there. Uh, and you can see here also some interesting figures where uh, actually, so 58% of our travelers include eco as a decision factor, why only 8% are ready, where only are 8%, which is already a good number, are ready to pay more uh, for, this kind, for this kind of properties. So I think another topic which is uh, becoming quite important uh, is CO2 compensation. Uh, and CO2 compensation in hospitality uh, can be tricky. So we're moving towards more regulation. We talked about it and net zero carbon will soon uh, not only be a choice uh, for businesses, I believe. So clearly uh, demand is increasing, uh, putting a lot of pressure on businesses, uh, but also carbon offset prices are said to be increased, uh, increasing by a factor of uh, four uh, to five this year. Um, so there are a few challenges ahead for industries and, and booking platforms dealing with hundreds of thousands of properties with very different carbon footprint locations, operating model. Uh, and, and we can only hope that with uh, standardization, uh, which we were discussing earlier, uh, there will be, uh, uh, and, and the mass adoption of certain common practices, there will be a way to better calculate and offset at scale uh, and more accurately on the carbon footprint for, for customers. Um, so uh, the other thing is that at the moment, so there are uh, many tools on the market, of course, that can be integ integrated into your uh, booking flow. Here at Bidroom, we're working currently with Choose. Um, uh, we are also cooperating with Squack at the Lufthansa Innovation Hub. Uh, you also have Hearst Check, who is also an eco-certification body, uh, and many uh, others. Uh, but as I was saying, I really the nut to crack today is about how we can calculate this carbon footprint uh, for accommodation. 
as this is really not accurate at the moment and we have to work with averages and start somewhere. The other thing is, are actually consumers ready uh, to pay for it or not? Um, and this is a discussion we have had with our partners, of course. Uh, uh, we can see that uh, uh, we can use it either as a, you know, ups, uh, upselling an ancillary service or we can use it as a marketing cost and basically uh, uh, compensate ourselves. And so far, conversion uh, from uh, users having to pay for these services is, is still quite low. So um, um, there are these two options and, and, I, and I strongly believe going to the, the marketing cost is, uh, uh, is a better option so far. So uh, that being said, I just wanted to finish this presentation by uh, telling you what we were doing at Bidroom, uh, because of course I can talk about you know, best practices, but I, we also need to start by ourselves. Um, so I was saying that we have uh, uh, integrated this carbon offset tool with shoes uh, actually two years ago already. So all uh, um, our members can actually offset their trip they receive uh, information in their booking confirmation and we are working on a more integrated uh, uh, journey uh, in, the in the very near future. Uh, we've also developed so, our own uh, program to tag accommodation which have been eco-certified, meaning verified uh, on our platform. Um, we are working currently with a few partners which I will present afterwards. Um, so that's one thing. The other thing is that we, we actually, as I said, work on connecting our hotel partners with the uh, certification bodies. And we are also working on bringing more uh, travel benefits to our users, which are uh, uh, green and uh, talking about mobility services, uh, e-commerce, um, et cetera. Uh, and of course we have made it um, a key focus in all our communications. Uh, either uh, towards our hotel partners, either towards uh, our members. So I was talking about the eco tag we have introduced uh, back in September. Um, so we've been working with Green Key already for, for some time. Also with the EU Commission, with Earthcheck, Green Globe. So all hotels who are working with, are, who are certified and recognized by these organizations are tagged uh, on our platform. And we just uh, joined uh, also GSTC, which uh, allows to tag as well the uh, eco certification bodies, which are certified by GSTC and which are listed here. So um, that was it uh, for today. Thank you for listening.